The names of five officers charged in Tyree's Nich Tyree Nichols' death have been added to a new list. As WRAG investigator Stacy Jacobson finds out, it could keep hundreds of cases from being brought to justice in Shelby County. Defense attorney Josh Corman received this letter recently about a TBI agent who testified against his client. The letter says an investigation found she lied about her work, leading her to be placed on the Shelby County DA's Giglio list. The Giglio list is a list of names of officers who have had some kind of, um, I guess, prior dealing for um, where they've been found to be untruthful. And it was part of our post-conviction proceeding. Now records obtained by the WREG investigators show the five officers charged in Tyree Nichols' death have also been added to the Giglio list of compromised officers, which usually means cases they're involved with can be tough to prosecute. Corman used to work as an assistant DA. He says prosecutors are likely going to drop a lot of their pending cases. I'm sure the office is going going back through and figuring out what cases those officers are involved in and can they still make a case or is this a case that needs to get disposed of. How many cases are we talking here that could potentially be compromised? Certainly dozens of cases, maybe even hundreds of cases. The court system is failing. Prior to the Nichols case, Mayor Jim Strickland often talked about the good work of Memphis police and blamed the courts for letting defendants go too easily. But Corman tells us prosecutors can't do their jobs in court because of Memphis police. That goes beyond the five officers charged in Nichols' death. As a prosecutor, I spent so much time before a trial almost having to reinvestigate and track down witnesses and talk to people who the police never even considered talking to. Now, as he says hundreds of cases may get dismissed, Strickland says the impacts are still unclear. You can't blanketly say that all these cases are compromised. You have to know the individual circumstances, and obviously the DA will dig in on that on a case-by-case -case basis. We asked the DA's office why the sixth fired officer, Preston Hemphill, has not been added to the list. The DA's office tells us that is still under investigation. Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3. Now I can tell you, DA Steve Mulroy says he is trying to decide if he needs to look at past cases involving those implicated officers. He says that he will let us know.